Trenton Stadium in Elida, Ohio. It's the Elida Bulldogs playing host to the Wapakoneta Redskins. Hi, everybody, and welcome to tonight's game, and welcome as well to the Mr. Bank pregame show, as we should have what is expected to be a very exciting game here tonight between these two teams. A couple of really high-powered offenses, and we'll see exactly how well they do against each other. Just to uh, mention a couple of players that we may be keeping our eye on tonight. Well, first of all, for the Wapakoneta Redskins, keep an eye on their running back. That's John Eaton. Eaton having a great season so far. In the opening week of the season, he gained over 50 yards, and he comes into this contest here tonight. Having uh, gained 144 yards on the season, he's averaging six yards per carry. So he's going to be a big part of the uh, Redskin offense here this evening. And likewise, his counterpart in the uh, backfield for... Uh, the Elida Bulldogs is going to be Cole Harmon. Now, Harmon, too, also a very explosive runner who had quite a bit of action last week in a game in which uh, Elida ended up rushing for 353 yards as a team. And again, he was a big part of that. So we are just about ready to get this one started. We'll tell you a little bit more about some of the keys to the game as well as our coaches here this evening. But again, we're going to be uh, getting underway here just momentarily. And... Wapakoneta actually ended up winning the toss, but deferred. So the Redskins will be kicking off to Elida. And back deep to receive the kick here tonight for Elida. Will be Balin Stitson and Jesse Guerrero. Doing the honors to kick it off for the Redskins here tonight is going to be Tristan Meyer as he will kick it deep. So the Redskins coming into the game tonight with a two-win, no-loss record. As in week one of the season, just two weeks ago, they ended up defeating Belfountain by a score of 28-6, that one in Belfountain. And then last week, a very interesting game against Kenton in Kenton, which the Redskins won 15-14, in a game that ended up being suspended in the third quarter by Lightning. So here they are on the road again tonight here in Elida to face the Bulldogs. And the Bulldogs, they come in with a one win, one loss record as we get it underway and it's a little squib kick. They're going to let it roll and it's going to end up going out of bounds. So Elida will have the ball as they will begin action here from the 30-yard line. Beautiful evening for football. Clear skies here tonight and a little bit of fall chill in the air. Temperature in the mid-50s as the ball is actually going to be spotted at the 35. And that is where the Bulldogs will take over. Logan Alexander is at quarterback. And again, Cole Harmon, one of the running backs that we mentioned. He wears number three and a big part of this offense. So here we go. So the game is underway with the first stamp, and it's going to be a little swing pass into the flat, but very quickly converging and dropping Cole Harmon is Walpa Canetta. And leading the charge that time for the Bulldogs was Adam Henderson. So a short gain. Actually, it's going to end up being a, a loss as they mark it at the 34-yard line. So it'll be a loss of one. It'll bring up second down and 11. Just underway here tonight. And they go with a straight uh, fake handoff that time. And around the far side on the keeper is Alexander. And he gets a few yards across the 35 to about the 36-yard line is where they'll put it down. Landed Hall in on the tackle that time for Wapakoneta. So it'll be third down now and nine. So a two-yard pickup. Told you about the Elida Bulldogs with their one and one record. 
and they've really shown a lot of offense here in the first two weeks of the season as the snap is taken and they're looking deep and the ball in the air by Alexander and it's going to be broken up on the defense there breaking up nicely is uh, Carmen Locke as that ball was intended for Clark Etzler but it goes incomplete and it'll bring up fourth down in a punting situation but that is something we expect to see and that is the Bulldogs putting the ball in the air their season started in a game against Delta St. John's as we're going to have our punt attempt here coming up it looks like they're going to actually go for it here So they have lined up to go for the first down, but we'll see what happens. It's going to be the quick kick. And with nobody back, the ball will roll and roll inside the 20 and on close to the 15-yard line. It has Alexander that time, the quarterback, lining up in formation, but ended up doing just the quick kick. And that means, of course, that the Redskins will take over for their first offensive possession. But again, talking about the Bulldogs a little bit, in week one, they ended up losing to Delta St. John's 40-34 to in double overtime. But they put up 34 points that game. And then just last week, they ended up beating Defiance by a score of 42-38. So another 40 points on the board. So they're averaging right now 41 points a game after just two weeks. It's early, but that's a lot of offense. So here we go, Wapakoneta. And we're going to have a penalty as the first play develops. And we'll set the uh, starters for you for the Redskins. So it's going to be an offsides call. And that will go against Elida. So it'll be first and five for Wapakoneta now. First and five for the Redskins as they break the huddle. Cody Morgan at quarterback takes the snap and gives it to the first man through, but not much doing there. Eaton, John Eaton taking the handoff, and he gets stopped quickly. So no gain on that play, and it'll be second down and five. Once again, Morgan, the quarterback, the senior, six feet tall, 170 pounds. As he takes the snap, and this time they run it wide. And carrying the ball is Keaton Metz, Metz and Eaton in the backfield for the Redskins here at the outset. Metz getting the ball up to about the 25-yard line. Just across the 25, they'll mark it at about the 26. And that will be enough for a first down. So first down for the Redskins on the two running plays. And, of course, they were helped by that offsides penalty. And this time it's keeper as, uh, keeper as Morgan just goes up the middle and he'll advance the ball to about the 30-yard line. So a very short gain, about one. Again, Cody Morgan. Morgan coming into the season having a pretty good game as far as the, the pass is concerned. 17 completions and 30 attempts so far on the season, so a little better than 50% passing with one touchdown on the year and also one interception. Second and seven, and it's another keeper, and again, it's Morgan coming across... Coming across the 40-yard line before the tackle is finally made. So he had a nice hole there on the left side. And he picks up pretty good yardage, and that should be enough for another first down. Jesse Guerrero in on that tackle. And the ball will be spotted at the 43, where it'll be first and 10. Keeping it on the ground so far here in the early going. And, of course, the running game is really the strength of this offense. There's another fake, and there he goes again across the 50 before he's upended is Morgan. So Cody Morgan 
picking up about, it looks like, seven more yards as they actually get into Elida territory now, and they'll spot the ball at the 48. So it'll be second down and two as we come up to the eight-minute mark here in the first quarter. These two teams have an interesting history when you go back and look at what's happened to them over the recent years. As this time, the give is to Metz, and he goes along the far side, makes a little move, and has finally run out of bounds. But Keaton Metz with a good gain that time, and that should be enough for a first down. Smith on the tackle. So the ball spotted at the 36-yard line where it will be first and 10. So Wapakoneta moving the ball well. Again, this drive starting from their 20. And everything has been on the ground so far. It looks now like they're going to go to the air. And a long pass down the middle is going to be incomplete. So Morgan slightly overthrows Henderson that time. Good coverage that time. Adam Henderson had three men around him. So it'll be second down and ten. Second and ten from the 36. And again, the fake handoff by Morgan. And he's got a little bit of running room inside the 30. Finally dropped it about the 27-yard line. Tayton Smith in on the tackle with a little bit of help from Clark Getzler. So a good gain. It's a gain of nine, and they'll call it third and one now. So the drive continuing here for the Redskins. Morgan maybe changing the play here at the line of scrimmage. They're going to hand it off, and it's Eaton over the right side. And Eaton with the first down as he moves inside the 25 to the 22-yard line. And it'll be first and 10. We're talking about the history between these two teams. And again, um, at least in recent years, it's been very intriguing. And what we've seen is that normally it's a very close game when these two ball clubs end up playing here in Elida. As a matter of fact, it was about four years ago that they had a contest. That it had big playoff implications as Morgan on the keeper takes it down to about the 20-yard line. So that'll be a gain of four, and it'll be second down and six. But four years ago, Elida ended up beating Wapak, and it prevented the Redskins from getting to the playoffs. It was actually a playoff game for both of these teams. Elida won. They went on. Wapakoneta lost and had to call it a season. And off as they give it to Eaton again, and this time over the right side. And the ball is loose as there's a fumble on the play inside the 20-yard line. And it's going to be recovered. Going to be recovered by the Bulldogs as they will take it away. So the first turnover of the game on the fumble. And the recovery made by Clark Etzler. So it's going to be first down Bulldogs. As Wapakoneta driving the ball well on the ground ends up giving up the football. That's going to be the fourth turnover of the season for the Redskins. So the ball on the 15. As Elida will take over. And a quick pass on the slant and the pass complete. Up to about the 26-yard line. Pass being caught by Christian Moran. Moran, a junior, 6'3", 190 pounds. Well, that'll be a first down. Pickup of 12.
Five and a half minutes to play here in our first quarter. And the keeper this time up the middle by Logan Alexander. Alexander picking up maybe a yard or two. And that'll bring up second down. Last year, actually two years ago, two years ago when these two teams played here in Elida, it was a 21-14 game in favor of Wapakoneta. And as we said, recent history tells us that when they play here, it's usually a very close contest. Alexander looking, now throwing, and the ball incomplete. It was intended for Clark Etzler, but he was well covered over there. So it'll be third down now and nine. Talking about turnovers, of course, both of these coaches pointing to turnovers as one of the keys to this game. Wapakoneta saying that they needed to win the battle of turnovers here tonight. Likewise, the Redskins wanting to tackle well in this contest, and they want to execute in all phases of the game. They want to show a balanced attack offensively and some good defense. As well, of course, as good solid play on the special teams. Alexander again, another keeper, up to about the 30-yard line. Crawford in on the tackle that time. As the ball will be spotted right at the 30. And that will bring up fourth, fourth down and seven. Alexander dropping back into the shotgun, and he's going to kick it away again. And again, nobody to back for Wapakoneta. And as a result, the ball rolls inside the 20 to the 17-yard line, and that's where the Redskins will take over from their own 17. Their last drive ending up when they ended up turning the ball over. Last drive ending with that fumble by John Eaton inside the 20-yard line. As again, they move that ball very well downfield and all of their yardage gained on the ground. So we'll see what happens. First and 10 from the 17. handoff that time to Eaton as he moves to the right side gets across the 20 up to about the 24 yard line check that that was actually Cameron Locke Cameron Locke on that last carry not Eaton so pick up of six and it'll be second down at four from the 23 Morgan over the ball, takes the snap, and we're going to have a penalty here, but this play just begins to get started. And it'll be another offside call against the Elida Bulldogs. So that will give... The Redskins, an automatic first down. It was second and four, now becomes first and ten as the ball is spotted at the 23-yard line. And the handoff this time as they give it once again to Eaton, and he comes around the left side across the 40 to about the 43-yard line. That's been whited on the tackle. So a 12-yard gain, and the ball spotted at the 44, where it'll be first and 10. So Wapakoneta continuing to run and run well against the Celida defense. And 
And now a whistle and a time is going to be called as Wapakoneta wants to talk things over. So time is called with 2.47 to go here in our first quarter. And still no score between the Elida Bulldogs and the Wapakoneta Redskins. When you see an orange truck, you think GA Windsor & Sun Company. But the next time you see an orange GA Windsor & Sun truck, we want you to think green. Why green? Because GA Windsor & Sun are the original recyclers. Using a modern fleet of trucks, GA Windsor & Sun Company collects food co-products from restaurants, food retailers, and food manufacturers in Ohio, Indiana, Michigan, and Kentucky. These food co-products are used to manufacture quality livestock and pet care feed ingredients. So the next time you see an orange GA Windsor & Sun truck, think green. TSC can save you money. How? TSC can save you money with the Emerge. What's the Emerge? The Emerge bundle plan. TSC will merge your phone, cable TV, and internet in one nice neat package to save you money. How much money? A boatload. The Emerge bundle plan only from TSC. TSC, give us a call and see. It's easy as one, two, three, call TSC. So head coach Travis Moyer talking things over with his Redskins as they face a first and ten with the ball at the 44-yard line here. Once again, the Redskins on the move here, just as they were in their first series. They moved the ball very effectively, and they continue to do so here in this possession. Another handoff, and again this time to the left side. Eaton. Actually, that's Luck again. Cameron Luck, the ball carrier. As he advances the ball up to the 47-yard line, it'll be second down and seven of them after a pickup of three. Travis Moyer, of course, in his first season as head coach with Wapakoneta. Has the team off to a very solid start so far this year. There's the pitch. As they go to the far side, and it's locked once again as he'll carry it up to about the 49-yard line, give him about two yards, and call it third down and five. But again, Travis Moyer pointing to the, the turnover battle as one of the keys to this ball game after his ball club, of course, lost a, the first turnover of the game on a fumble on the first drive. They protected it pretty well. As we mentioned, that fumble earlier was just the fourth turnover of the season. As this time the fake, and it's going to be Morgan who keeps it, and he'll cross into Elida territory. Ball spotted at the 47-yard line. And that is going to be short of a first down. It'll be fourth down and two. And it's going to be a kicking situation as the Redskins will boot it away. So Carmen Luck Luck the punter. We'll see what he does here. And it's a high kick with the fair catch being called for and it made down there. So the ball fair caught at the 17. Bryce Upshaw making that catch and Elida will go back onto offense. Well, as far as some of the keys for the game for Elida, the home team here tonight, they too want to win the battle of turnovers, as was pointed out by Coach Jason Carpenter. Also, what's interesting here, and this, this is something that, that we'll keep an eye on. One of the things that they want to do on defense as trying to put the ball in the air, looking for a receiver, and finally throwing over on the far side, Alexander. And the pass is going to go incomplete, so it'll be second down. But one of the things that uh, Jason Carpenter mentioned was that uh, he wants to be able to stop up at Canetta on first down. He wants to force them to throw the ball. And of course, so far, that has not happened on the first two possessions. But that is definitely going to be a key for Elida here tonight. They want to test that offense, that passing offense of Wabakaneta. 
So it's second and 10 from the 17. Alexander again looking. Now scrambling as he throws over the middle, and the pass is broken up, and everybody is looking for an interference call, but there's no flag on the play. It did look, it definitely did look like Aaron Hoffman got there a little bit early, but there is no flag on the play. Pass intended for Christian Moran, but it goes incomplete, and it's now third down and ten. And again, as the play develops, a whistle will stop the action. And we're going to have a timeout called by the Bulldogs this time. So Elida will take time with 28 seconds remaining here in the first quarter. And still no score. It's Elida nothing and Wapakoneta nothing. Minster Bank is celebrating 100 years of serving our local communities. We are proud of our past and we look forward to a promising future. Thanks for the opportunity to help our local businesses grow. Thanks for letting us serve you past banking hours. Thanks for letting us serve you and getting to know you personally. Through our private wealth management department, we provide trusted investment advice. Mr. Bank's success and longevity is truly a testament to the communities and the customers that we serve. Thanks for 100. Where is that TSC bill? How can I pay it if I can't find it? You don't need the bill. You can pay it online at telcerco.com. Wasn't there a special this month? Yes, we got it from TSC's Facebook page. I know I've got the announcement for the club here somewhere. I just sent it to TSC to air on Channel 2. With Telcerco.com, Facebook, Channel 2, and their newsletter, TSC makes it easy to stay connected. Now if they could just help me clean up my desk. It's easy as one, two, three, call TSC. Well, Game Face Ohio is excited to be covering two games each week this football season. And, of course, that allows us to cover all ten games for both St. Mary's and Wapakoneta. And we're going to be offering a feature game that will air the night of the game and a bonus game that will first air on Sunday evening. So it's going to be a great season with two games a week right here on Game Face Ohio. Third and ten. And going to the air, the ball is loose, and it's going to be recovered by Wap or excuse me, by Elida. Edwards landing on that ball as it popped out of the hand that time of quarterback Logan Alexander. So again, we have another timeout here. Looks like an official's timeout with seven seconds to play here in the first period. It's going to be fourth down and ten for Elida. But it gives us a chance to remind you, we were talking a little bit about the, the two games that are being offered, uh, being covered each week this football season. And, of course, that, uh, that is our featured game as well as uh, another contest that you'll see is a bonus game. But... Our feature game is produced using our HD production truck, and it will air again on the night of the game at 11 p.m. on GFO. And it will also air on Fox Lima on the Sunday following the game at 10 o'clock that morning. So that's not bad, because if you think about it, if you're a football fan, this is a great way to start your NFL Sunday. You've got Game Face Ohio at 10. You've got your NFL pregame show, of course, at noon. An entire day of football, an entire evening of football. More football on Monday, but it doesn't get any better than that. So be sure to check out that feature game each week on Game Face Ohio. Again, airing the night of the game at 11 o'clock and airing on Fox Lima the Sunday following the game at 10 in the morning. As time has expired here in the first quarter, and the two teams will trade ends of the field. As after 12 minutes of play, there's no score. It's Elida's Bulldogs nothing and Wapakoneta's Redskins nothing. Owen Kitchen and Bath Showroom has been family owned and operated since 1990. We can help you from start to finish with your entire project. 
Let one of our professional designers put the final touches on your project. Owen Kitchen and Bath now has two showrooms to better serve you in Wapakoneta and Lima. Owen Kitchen and Bath, cabinetry that will take your breath away at prices that won't. TV everywhere. TV everywhere? That's right, everywhere. You can watch TV from your tablet, your phone, your laptop, any mobile device, anywhere you want. Laundromat? Yes. Grocery store? Yes. Park? Yes. What if I wanted to watch TV at home? All your favorite networks all the time. It's TV everywhere from TSC. It's easy as one, two, three, call TSC. So the start of the second quarter here, and it's going to begin with a punt. As the kick, a nice high spiral, and they're going to let it bounce and roll, and a good kick indeed as it'll roll dead at the 30-yard line. So it'll be first and 10 for the Redskins. So an excellent kick that time. As the ball is spotted at the 29 yard line, it'll be first and 10. And here come the Redskins. No score, second quarter just underway. Alpanetta had three offensive possessions in that first quarter as they go back to the running game. Get things started here with Eaton carrying. Ball spotted at the 33, so a pickup of two. That's the fifth carry for Eaton, and he now has 25 yards. So John Eaton, who came into the game averaging six yards a carry, being pretty true to that average. And a rollout here and a short pass into the flat. And again, it's Eaton who makes the catch. And they're going to say no. They're going to say incomplete. He did not have possession before he ended up going out of bounds. So it'll be third down and eight. Well, he had a lot of room down there before the sideline. The problem is he could not get possession of the ball. So Morgan's pass goes incomplete. And here's the third and eight play now. And they're going to go to the air again, looking for somebody. And in trouble, out of the pocket throws. And finally, an open receiver on the far side. As the pass is completed to Henderson. And Henderson, with a nice run, gets the ball into deep into Elida territory as they're going to mark it at the 36-yard line. So that will be more than enough for a first down. And an excellent job by Morgan of keeping that play alive. As he was able to step up, avoid a couple of tackles, and finally find the open man. This time they hand it off and sweeping to the far side, breaking a couple of tackles and finally being run down from behind is Adam Henderson. So Henderson, who just caught that last pass, takes the handoff this time and moves it 12 yards all the way down to the 24-yard line. And again, it'll be first and 10 here for Wapakoneta.
looking at that offensive line, which is doing an excellent job so far for the Redskins here this evening. Ethan Saunders, he's at center. Corey Crawford and Blake Fenning are the two tackles, as this time a short game. Eaton carrying. And he'll move the ball down to about the 21, so we'll call it a pickup of three. So it'll be second down and seven. And then the two guards up front will be Will Rankin and Corey Thrush. So again, that offensive line doing a good job. The tight end, Jared Smith. Second and eight from the 21. And there's a counter play as they run it to the far side. Henderson again carrying as he's finally brought down after a short gain. So the ball spotted at the 18. It'll be third down and six. Wampakoneta getting to the 20-yard line of Elida on its first drive. And now, as on the keeper, Morgan stopped near the line of scrimmage. And the ball spotted just inside the 20. So he actually ends up losing a yard. So that'll make it fourth down and six now. But as we were saying, this has been the deepest penetration of the night for Wapakoneta. Ball spotted on the 19. So it would be a 36-yard field goal from here. But it looks like they're going to run a play instead. So the Redskins on fourth. Fourth down and six from the 19. And now they're going to take a timeout. So Wapakoneta will discuss things on the sideline. 8.26 remaining in our second quarter. And we are still scoreless between Elida and Wapakoneta. For over 100 years, the Stolle Insurance Team has been looking out for you. We have access to major insurance companies all over the country. But together, we can customize an insurance program that will offer you the best coverage for the best premium. Let us look out for you. Give us a call for a personalized proposal today. Proudly featuring Motorist Insurance, Stolle Insurance in Lima, Walpawk, Salina, and Lakeview. Representing Motorist Insurance Group and other fine insurance companies. Stolle Insurance. Sure, you don't need a set-top box to watch cable, but without one, you're not getting everything your TV has to offer. Add a set-top box from TSC to your television and get more channels. Get a channel guide that tells you all about the shows. Run multiple devices through one universal remote, and you can even add DVR and HD channels. Get everything your TV has to offer with a set-top box. Call TSC and ask for your set-top box today. It's easy as one, two, three, call TSC. Back at Kraft Stadium with 8.26 to go here in the first half and a fourth down and six for Wapakoneta. Still no score in our ballgame. As Morgan at quarterback going to the air along the sidelines and the pass is caught. Nope, it's going to be ruled incomplete as out of bounds goes Cameron Luck. He just didn't have quite enough room on that far side. And on a fourth and six, the ball will be turned over on downs back to the Elida Bulldogs. So the Bulldogs meet the challenge here. That's one of the things that uh, Coach Jason Carpenter told us before the game is that his team is getting a little better each week on defense. And that's something he's encouraged by. Again, they have given up a lot of points, as we mentioned. They gave up 40 in their first game, but that one was in double overtime. They gave up 38 last week. But tonight, so far, nothing. As Alexander, the ball carrier, but he gets very little on the first down play. He ended up losing yardage. 
as they'll mark the ball back at the 16 yard line. So call it a loss of about two and it'll be second and 12. Alexander from the shotgun rolls to his left, throws, and the pass is complete at the 29-yard line as the catch is made by Clark Etzler. Etzler, the 6-foot, 175-pound senior, hauls it in, and that will be enough for a first down. Well, through about the first quarter and a half, this is not what we expected to see. Again, no score in our game, and we thought we were going to have a, a, a rather high-scoring affair here tonight as these two offenses have dominated early in the season so far. Alexander on the keeper, and did he lose it as he gets across the 30-yard line? And we'll wait for the official signal here. Wapakoneta thinking that they've got the football, but still no indication by the officials. Corey Crawford in on that tackle, and it is going to be Wapakoneta ball. So there is the second turnover of the night, one now by each team. So the ball will be spotted at the 30-yard line. And Wapakoneta... I'll make it about the 31 now, but Walker Panetta is going to have excellent position here as they take over. So the Redskins with a golden opportunity here with 7.04 to play just before halftime. As Morgan hands it off. Keaton Metz carries down to about the 25-yard line. So it'll be a pickup of five, and it'll be second down and five. Morgan again maybe changing the play here at the line. And they're going to keep it on the ground. But Eaton, that play really not developing very quickly as the defense shutting it down. So they end up losing a yard. So that'll bring up third down now. We'll call it third and four from about the 26. Again, the drive starting on the 30-yard line after the fumble recovery. Morgan's going to keep it, looks for a hole on the left side and finds a little bit of running room, but it looks like he's going to be short of the first down. So it will be fourth down, fourth and one. Joey Glick helping in on that tackle. So Wapakoneta will try it again. They went for it on fourth down on their last possession from the 18-yard line, but came up short, and now it's fourth and one from the 23. Trying to take advantage of the fumble recovery, and a flag on the play as Eaton Easily picks up the first down across the left side of the line, but we'll see what the flag is about. So it was a fourth and one, and the call is going to go against Wapakoneta. So an offsides call, and it's a big one here, as it's going to move the ball back. And instead of fourth and one now from the 23.
Now the ball's going to be spotted at the 38. Now that's going to be a chop block. That penalty is for chop blocking. So it's a 15-yard penalty, and now it's fourth and 15. Once again with the ball spotted back at the 36. We're going to put it in the air, and the pass is incomplete. So the pass by Morgan intended for David Stewart. But it goes incomplete, and the ball goes back to the Elida Bulldogs. So back and forth we go here tonight. Both teams really having trouble even getting close to the end zone here. 4.47 remaining in the second quarter. So a very costly penalty that time for the Redskins. A 15-yard chop block penalty on fourth and one. And it completely took them out of scoring position. So here come the Bulldogs. And they fake the handoff and straight ahead up the middle across the 40 to about the 41-yard line goes Logan Alexander. Alexander just in his junior year. Six feet tall, 195 pounds. Picks up about four on that play, so it becomes second down and six. And they fake it again on the play on the, with the runner in motion, and they instead... Keep it on the ground with Alexander carrying. And he'll pick up about two yards. So that'll bring up about third down and four here. As the ball will be spotted at the 44. We've seen that play a couple of times tonight where Clark Etzler, the wide receiver, comes in motion. Then they fake the handoff. And Alexander just keeps it. Third and four. Empty backfield now. Quick toss to the far side. Pass complete, and the tackle made, and the ball comes out. So another, another ball on the ground here. But it will be the Bulldogs who maintain possession. They'll end up losing a couple of yards on the play as the ball is spotted at the 41. And it'll become fourth down and six. So Alexander once again back in the shotgun formation on fourth and six. Just under three minutes to go here before halftime. And we're going to have a timeout called. So timeout on the field, 2.52 to play as the timeout is charged to Wapakoneta. And it's still the Bulldogs nothing and the Redskins nothing. We are state of the art. We are professional. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a great day. We are service you can trust. We are here for you. With custom fabrication, a variety of roofing options, and exceptional roofing knowledge and expertise, Frost Roofing is committed to providing top-notch quality service on every project. To learn more, visit us online at frost-roofing.com and follow us on social media. TSC can save you money. How? TSC can save you money with the Emerge. What's the Emerge? The Emerge bundle plan. TSC will merge your phone, cable TV, and internet in one nice, neat package to save you money. How much money? A boatload. The Emerge Bundle Plan, only from TSC. TSC, give us a call and see. It's easy as one, two, three, call TSC. 2.52 before halftime and no score between the Elida Bulldogs and the visiting Wapakoneta Redskins playing on the road for the third week in a row. But they finally do get a home game to the Redskins next week when they take on Bath. That'll be a 7.30 game. 
So far, the road's been good, though, to the Redskins as they are 2-0. All right, fourth and six, and it's going to be another quick kick. And the ball's going to bounce and roll out of bounds inside the 20-yard line, and that's where Wapakoneta will take over. Well, just a reminder that our bonus game is produced actually by editing and post-production. And because of that, it's not scheduled to air until 6 o'clock on the Sunday after the game. And that's on our GFO channel only. So occasionally, now we may air the bonus game sooner, but in a few minutes we'll tell you a little bit more on how you can find out about that, whether or not it is going to be aired at an earlier time. And you can also watch the bonus game online starting the Monday after the game. We'll, uh, we'll talk about that again a little bit later. So the Redskins back on offense and a running play right up the middle that picks up just a couple of yards. John Eaton with a couple of hard-fought yards that time. Desmond White on the tackle as the ball is spotted inside the 20 at the 19. And it's going to end up being a no gain on that play. Well, maybe two yards. We'll call it, yeah, let's call it second and eight. Time running down as we approach the two minute mark here in the first half. And Morgan with a pass over the middle, complete. On the slant pattern, Adam Henderson making the catch, and he's out across the 30 to about the 39-yard line. Jesse Guerrero making that tackle. So that'll be a first down. So first and 10 for Wapakoneta as time continues to tick down. And again, they're going to the air, and the pass is dropped. Wide open on the far side was Joe Pitts, but Pitts started to run before he had control of the ball. And as a result, it'll be second down and 10. Well, interestingly enough, Wapakoneta, who has had a lot of success on the ground here tonight, at least moving the ball, has started to go to the air here in the last few series. That was one of the things that was pointed out where they want to try to get a balanced attack, and they put it into the air again, and the pass complete on the far side as Morgan connecting that time. Is it Cockerell on the far side? The pass complete, that will be enough. Now, a little bit short of the first down, actually. It'll be third down and one. So they're waiting for the officials to spot the ball. Now, Wapakoneta has no more timeouts this half. 136 to play here, and they're going to march it in. We'll see where they mark it. it. Looks like it's going to be just a little bit short of a first down. So third and less than a yard with the ball being spotted at the 48-yard line. Morgan leads the team to the line, and he keeps it and gets smothered. Morgan on the quarterback sneak on a third and one, and it looks like he's going to be a little bit short. So we'll have a measurement again with 131 in the half. 
No score in the ball game. And he is still just a little bit short. So a couple of chain links as it'll be fourth down and still less than a yard. Redskins sending the play in from the sideline as Morgan having a chance to confer with the coaches. So now it's fourth and inches. And they're going to hand it off this time in a big hole and a first down as Eaton bursts up the middle that time. And Eaton advancing that ball into Bulldog territory. It'll be spotted at the 38-yard line. 118 to play. And again, Wapakoneta out of timeouts. From the 43, they're going to go to the air, and the pass is going to be complete on the far side. Cameron Luck making the catch. Gain of eight on the play, so it'll be second down and two. Ball spotted right at the 35-yard line. And again, whistles stop the action. We're going to have a time called by Elida. So 105 to play before halftime. Wampakoneta knocking on the door again, but no score in our game. It's the Bulldogs nothing and the Redskins nothing. TSC bill. How can I pay it if I can't find it? You don't need the bill. You can pay it online at tellcirco.com. Wasn't there a special this month? Yes, we got it from TSC's Facebook page. I know I've got the announcement for the club here somewhere. I just sent it to TSC to air on Channel 2. With tellcirco.com, Facebook, Channel 2, and their newsletter, TSC makes it easy to stay connected. Now if they could just help me clean up my desk. It's easy as one, two, three, call TSC. So it will be second down and two from the 35-yard line. Wampakoneta with the ball. 105 left in the half. And no score in the game. Wampakoneta having had a couple of previous opportunities to find the end zone. This time they air it out in the pass just a little bit too long as it is incomplete intended for Jared Smith, the tight end, but overthrown slightly by Cody Morgan, and that'll bring up third down and two. So now we're under a minute at 59 seconds. Cody Morgan just a little long on that throw. He does have one touchdown pass already this season. Now the third and two play, and they're going to put it up again. Maybe he's in trouble. On the run, gets, a, gets around the corner there and finally pushed out of bounds at about the 25-yard line. Desmond White taking him out of bounds, but Morgan doing a nice job of avoiding that rush and picking up a first down. That's just going to be enough. It'll be first and ten. From the 25. Wapa Canetta having been down here before. Two other times. At the 19 yard line earlier and at the 18. Now a long pass that is going to be caught. 
incomplete. Dropped. A nice throw that time by Morgan. But Keaton Metz not able to come down with that ball. So it'll be second down and 10. 43 seconds remaining. Simpson's on coverage of that last pass. He was the defender. And Morgan again going to the air or trying to on the run one more time. And again gets around the corner before he gets pushed out of bounds and that will stop the clock. So Morgan picking up a few more yards, inching a little bit closer. Desmond White again pushing him out of bounds. So third and two with the ball being spotted at the 18. Morgan with a quick pass off the hands that time of Kenton Mertz, or Metz rather, Metz not able to haul it in. So the pass is incomplete, 31 seconds to go before halftime, and a fourth down and three. So for the second time in this half, Walpa Canetta getting as far as the Bulldogs' 18-yard line. And they're going to go for a field goal, it looks like. So Thurston Meyer will come on and see if he can break this scoreless tie. Meyer to kick with Morgan holding. And now a timeout being taken by the Bulldogs. So the Bulldogs forcing Meyer to think about it here as they're going to take a timeout. So while the two teams meet on the sidelines, it gives us a chance to remind you that Game Face is active on social media during the football season. That's right. You can follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and you can be notified of breaking news, updates, and most importantly, you can learn when highlight packages and broadcasts are available online. And we'll also send out tweets when we will air the bonus game early. So join us on social media and stay in the loop. It's the only way to do it. As we mentioned earlier, Sometimes that bonus game will be aired a little bit earlier. And whenever it is, again, you'll be notified by social media as we'll tweet you just to let you know. So here we go. On a fourth and three with the ball at the 18, we're going to try a 25-yard field goal, and it is up. And good. So the 35-yard field goal by Thurston Meyer produced the first points of the game. And it gives Wapakoneta a 3-0 lead here with 26 seconds remaining in the first half. Strength is about so much more than the body. It's about being together, serving, sharing, and caring for those around us. It's about keeping score in the heart rather than on a scoreboard. Be a part of a community that builds more than your body. At the Wapakoneta Family YMCA. Sure, you don't need a set-top box to watch cable, but without one, you're not getting everything your TV has to offer. Add a set-top box from TSC to your television and get more channels. Get a channel guide that tells you all about the shows. Run multiple devices through one universal remote, and you can even add DVR and HD channels. Get everything your TV has to offer with a set-top box. Call TSC and ask for your set-top box today. It's easy as one, two, three, call TSC. So our first point's coming on a field goal. And the third time proving to be the charm. For Wapakoneta is again the Redskins getting down to the 18 yard line for the third time in the first half. The first two times they came away with nothing, this time opting to kick the field goal. And they end up taking the 3 0 lead. So 
So Thurston Meyer will kick it off here. Peyton Smith, one of the returners back deep. And Balin Stinson, the other man back. So here comes the kick, and they just keep it on the ground. And it'll be fielded there at the 30-yard line. Falling on the ball is Cole Harmon. And it'll be first and 10 for the Bulldogs from about the 30-yard line. 24 seconds left in the first half. Both teams moving the ball fairly well offensively in this first half. Particularly Wampakoneta, again, having a lot of success on the ground. But turnovers as each team turns it over one time. Both teams fumbling once, the other team recovering, and turnovers ended up putting an end to a threat for each side. And as a result, as the two teams leave the field here at halftime with the final seconds ticking down, it's the... Wapakoneta Redskins leading by a score of 3-0 over the Elida Bulldogs. So Wapakoneta for the third week in a row on the road and looking for its third road victory of the season. Let's get the second half underway. There's the kick. And again Wapakoneta receiving the second half kickoff and some good running room all the way up to the 30 as it was Locke, Cameron Locke, who fielded that ball at about his goal line and got it back out to the 30-yard line when that's where the Redskins will take over as we begin the second half. So a first and 10 from the 31-yard line. Hey, check out GameFaceOhio.com for information on our past and future broadcasts as you can watch highlight packages and full broadcasts as well and find out information on our upcoming schedule. And that's at GameFaceOhio.com. First and ten, and uh, keep it on the ground as they did a good job in the first half, did the Redskins, in advancing the ball, and this time the handoff going to Kenton Metz to get things started, and Metz getting the ball out across the 35 to about the 38-yard line. And that's going to be a gain of seven, so it'll be second down and three. Once again, Cody Morgan at quarterback. He's got Metz and John Eaton in the backfield. And we'll set that offensive line for you once again as well as they did a great job in the first half of opening some holes. Now the second and three play as the give is once again to Metz. Trying to get up to that 40-yard line. Looks like uh, they might spot it just a little bit shy. And it'll be third down and one. So a third and one situation here for the Redskins on the opening drive of the first half. But again, across that line, at center is Ethan Saunders, the tackles, Corey Crawford, along with, uh, along with Blake Fleming, Fenning. And on third and one, they try to make a little bit of room, but uh, not much there, but still enough room as getting around the corner was Metz. And he was able to get the uh, first down. Cole Harmon pushing him out of bounds. Not much of a hole, but again, he got around the corner. And once he was able to do that, he got the yards that he needed. So as it turns out, Metz ends up carrying the ball three times on that drive and getting the first down. This time it's play action. They're going to try to go to the air, but Morgan in trouble and the ball comes loose. And it's still loose, rolling around down there, but finally recovered by Elida. And it's Maurice Rose who ends up with that ball. So again, Morgan under pressure. And he ends up losing the football on the sack. And it's going to be marked at the 22-yard line of Wapakoneta. So the second turnover of the game for the Redskins has put the Bulldogs in excellent scoring position. Three to nothing in favor of Wapakoneta. 
Alexander at quarterback. He'll look for a little bit of hole over the right side, and he gets the ball inside the 20 to about the 18. Jared Cockerall in on the tackle. So it'll be second, second down and six, a pickup of four. So a costly turnover here by the Redskins early in the second half. And again, a keeper as Alexander goes right up the middle, but there's a flag on the play. Alexander will be brought down back, or brought down rather, at the 10 yard line with that flag back at the 18. And another chop block, second time we've seen that call tonight. And this time it's going to go against the Elida Bulldogs. We saw it in the first half, it was called against Wampakoneta, and it took the Bulldogs out of scoring position. Here it's going to be marched off against the Bulldogs, so they too will be pushed back. So they will mark it off. It was a second and six play. With the ball being pushed back now all the way to the 33 yard line. So it'll be second and 25. And they'll go to the air and open and making the catch before being ridden out of bounds over on the far side. Is going to be Brian Upshaw. So Upshaw makes the catch. Alexander completing the pass. And it'll be third, and we'll call it about 10. Ball from the 24. And a short pass over here in the flat. And the attempted pass. Nice play there, actually, as Etzler, Mark Etzler, Ends up tackling, or ends up being tackled by Cameron Locke. So Etzler that time taking the pass and then faking as if he was going to make a throw. They ended up losing yardage. They lost about four yards on the play. So it'll become fourth down and 14. And the ball now back at about the 26-yard line. So a field goal situation. As timeout is going to be called here. So as they line up for the field goal, timeout being called by Elida. And it's going to be Cade Parker. Parker, the freshman, will be attempting the field goal. It's a three to nothing ball game in favor of Wapakoneta. Still 837 remaining here in the third quarter. So while there's a break in the action, we'll send it away. Once again, Wapakoneta leading three to nothing against the Elida Bulldogs. TSC can save you money. How? TSC can save you money with the Emerge. What's the Emerge? The Emerge bundle plan. TSC will merge your phone, cable TV, and internet in one nice neat package to save you money. How much money? A boatload. The Emerge bundle plan only from TSC. TSC, give us a call and see. It's easy as one, two, three, call TSC. When you see an orange truck, you think GA Windsor & Son Company. But the next time you see an orange GA Windsor & Son truck, we want you to think green. Why green? Because GA Windsor & Son are the original recyclers. Using a modern fleet of trucks, GA Windsor & Son Company collects food co-products from restaurants, food retailers, and food manufacturers in Ohio, Indiana, Michigan, and Kentucky. These food co-products are used to manufacture quality livestock and pet care feed ingredients. 
So the next time you see an orange GA Windsor and Sun truck, think green. So the 43-yard field goal attempt, and it is no good. So just a little short that time on a 43-yard attempt, which means that the Redskins will take over. And that was Cade Parker who attempted that, and again, just a little bit short. He got a lot of leg into it. But the field goal falls short, and it's still a 3 to nothing game with 8.30 to play. So the Redskins back on the attack. Short pass into the flat and a short gain as Keith Metz hauls it in that time from Cody Morgan. And it's good for five yards. It'll be second and five with the ball spotted now at about the 25-yard line. So the Redskins on their last drive turning the ball over on the fumble by quarterback Cody Morgan. But as it turns out, Elida unable to cash in on it. So second and five. Morgan from the shotgun instead gives it on the handoff. And it was locked carrying. And there's a fumble on the play and it looks like Elida's got the football again. Another turnover, the third of the game for the Redskins. This one, the second one of the second half, and the second one deep in Wapakoneta territory. So Peyton Smith being credited with that fumble recovery, and it'll be first and 10 with the ball on the 32. So we talked about the battle of winning, or the need rather, to win the battle of turnovers for both of these teams. And Elida has been able to do just that as, again, on the quarterback keeper, Alexander, takes it inside the 30 to about the 29-yard line. Three turnovers in the game for Wapakoneta and just one for Elida. Gain of three will be second down and seven. Again, Alexander in that shotgun takes the snap. And lobs it up, and it is going to be broken up, incomplete. It was intended for Clark, uh, for Clark Ketzler, but Etzler covered very well. So that'll bring up a third down and seven. Again, Elida trying to capitalize on a turnover here. Three to nothing our score with seven minutes and three seconds remaining here in quarter number three. And now a penalty here before the snap is made. And we're going to have an offsides call against the Elida Bulldogs. So that'll push the ball back another five yards and we'll make it third down and 12. So the ball now at the 34 yard line. And that could take the Bulldogs out of scoring position unless they're able to come close to getting this first down. So third and 12. As Alexander 
Goes to the air again. And now his protection breaks down. He scrambles and throws, and it is incomplete. As the pass a little bit wide that time. Again, it was intended for Etzler. But on the run, Alexander not able to complete that pass. So it'll be fourth down and 12. The ball at the 34-yard line. So the Bulldogs will run a play here. Again, it's just a little bit, it would be too long of a field goal attempt. And certainly not enough room to punt the ball. So fourth and 12, and they will run the play. And again, a pass intended deep, and it is going to be incomplete. Off the hands as a very good attempt made there by Christian Moran, but not able to hold on to it. So Moran, down near the goal line, could not quite haul it in. Cameron Luck defending on the play, and on the fourth down, the ball will go back to the Redskins. So the Bulldogs back on defense. And on the first two possessions by the Redskins, the Bulldogs forcing turnovers. But now Wapakoneta with a big run here as they get the ball out to about the 48-yard line. Adam Henderson carrying. So that's going to be enough for a first down. So first and 10 from the 48. Wampakoneta with three turnovers in the game, but yet have the Redskins have not given up a point in this one. As a handoff, as they give it this time to Metz, and he gets it up to midfield. Be a gain of two. So we'll call it second down and eight. Rose in on that tackle. Talking about that offensive line a little bit earlier, the last time that Wapakoneta had the ball. And it continues to open big holes here tonight, and this time on a quarterback keeper, Morgan sort of dives forward and picks up a couple of yards. Well spotted at the 48-yard line of Elina. Could make it third and about seven here. Morgan taking the snap and rolling out, and the pass is complete. As the catch is made by Aaron Huffman. And Huffman with a couple of more yards getting the ball down to the 30-yard line. Check that. It's not Huffman. It's uh, Cockerell, I believe, who made that catch. So it's first and 10 from the 30. And they go back to the ground game with a sweep to the left side and carrying the ball that time is Metz. And Metz is finally knocked out of bounds by White on the far side. So it's a gain of six. They'll mark it at the 24. And it'll be second down and four. So once again... The Redskins getting deeper and deeper into Bulldog territory here. But they were inside that 20-yard line three times in the first half and could only score three points. 
both of these defenses tonight playing very well when they have to. And a flag on the play. Pitch out to Cameron Luck, but that play is going to be nullified by a illegal procedure call against the Redskins. So they'll move the ball back to the 29-yard line. And that'll bring up a second down and nine. Just under four minutes to play here in the third period. And a quarterback keeper with a little bit of running room up the middle. Morgan breaks one tackle and eventually lunges forward to about the 20-yard line. So it'll be a pickup of close to nine and close to a first down. Gonna have another penalty here. So between the penalties and the turnovers, Wampa Canetta finding itself being pushed back. And now, after that penalty, the ball spotted at the 44. So it'll be second down and 23. And he's going to keep it, and Morgan with the ball down to about the 35-yard line. So we saw it in the first half where a chop block penalty took Wapakoneta out of scoring, uh, scoring territory, and now here in the third quarter, Another costly penalty that has pushed them back and created a third and 15 with the ball spotted at the 35. And they're going to go to the air, and the pass is complete and taken down to the 20-yard line as Henderson makes the catch. And he is going to be close to a first down, but just a little bit short. It looks like it's going to be about fourth and a yard, maybe a yard and a half. But the ball spotted at about the 21 and a half yard line. So fourth and one. Wapakoneta has converted one of three fourth down conversions so far tonight as we approach the two minute mark and it's going to be a keeper and that's going to be enough for the first down as Morgan dives forward and he'll get the ball close to the 15 yard line so Morgan keeps the drive alive it'll be first and 10 Wapakoneta trying to add to its three to nothing lead here with time winding down in the third quarter Three turnovers tonight for the Redskins. But still with a chance to open the, up a lead here as they sweep it to the right side. And finally being run out of bounds is Cameron Locke. Locke getting the ball down to the 10-yard line. So that's a pickup of six, and it'll be second down now and four. So the ball now on the 10. Wapakoneta with its deepest penetration of the night so far. And the handoff in the opposite way. And down inside the five, carrying a couple of defenders with him is Adam Henderson. As Henderson picks up the first down and gets the ball again inside that five-yard line to set up a first and goal here as the ball will be spotted at the three. So Wampakoneta with a 3-0 lead. 
looking for its first touchdown of the night here. So it's been a good drive. Again, it started at about their own 35-yard line after they got the ball on downs. And the handoff up the middle and into the end zone for the touchdown goes Keaton Metz. Now check it, that's Jared Cockerell. Yep, that's Cockerell with the touchdown, and that's going to make it a 9 0 game in favor of Wapakoneta. So the first touchdown of the game coming with 1.15 to play here in the third quarter. And it's given the Redskins a 9 0 lead. And the extra point is good. So the Redskins end up extending their lead as the extra point being added by Tristan Meyer to make it a 10 to nothing game. 1.15 left to play here in the third quarter and our new score, the Redskins 10 and the Bulldogs nothing. Where is that TSC bill? How can I pay it if I can't find it? You don't need the bill. You can pay it online at telcerco.com. Wasn't there a special this month? Yes, we got it from TSC's Facebook page. I know I've got the announcement for the club here somewhere. I just sent it to TSC to air on Channel 2. With Telcerco.com, Facebook, Channel 2, and their newsletter, TSC makes it easy to stay connected. Now if they could just help me clean up my desk. It's easy as one, two, three, call TSC. Minster Bank is celebrating 100 years of serving our local communities. We are proud of our past and we look forward to a promising future. Thanks for the opportunity to help our local businesses grow. Thanks for letting us serve you past banking hours. Thanks for letting us serve you and getting to know you personally. Through our private wealth management department, we provide trusted investment advice. Minster Bank's success and longevity is truly a testament to the communities and the customers that we serve. Thanks for 100. A 10 to nothing ball game as Wapakoneta getting ready to kick it off. Once again, Meyer will do the honors and he'll be kicking to Balin Stenson. Stenson and it looks like Smith as the kick is in the air. And again, it's just a short. We apologize. It appears that we're having some technical difficulties with Ken's headset up in the press box, so I will take over for the rest of the game. I am Todd Utrip, happy to be filling in here. And we are back underway, coming up on a minute to go. Logan Alexander with the keeper on the left side. He will gain seven. We'll bring up second down and three. Well, Paul up 10-0. Just under a minute to go here in the third quarter. Redskins doing a great job tonight on the defensive end, the defensive side of the ball. See if they can get another stop here and put some more points on the board. Alexander throws to his right. And it's intercepted. Cameron Locke with the pick. How's that for a stop? Cameron Locke and the Wapakoneta Redskins get the interception to take over with just a few seconds left here in the third quarter. Cameron Locke doing it on both sides of the ball, offensively and defensively. Had the game winner uh, last week in Kenton with the TD catch with uh, about 10, 12 seconds left in the game. And now uh, this week comes up with an interception here in the third quarter. So Cody Morgan and his offense at the line now, first and 10. One goes to the left side. Keaton Metz. And I believe that will do it here 
in the third quarter. I think it's going to run the clock out, and uh, the Redskins are making their way over to the sideline. So, yes, that will end the third quarter. Wapakoneta Redskins 10, Elida 0. We'll be right back after the break. TV everywhere. TV everywhere? That's right, everywhere. You can watch TV from your tablet, your phone, your laptop, any mobile device, anywhere you want. Laundromat? Yes. Grocery store? Yes. Park? Yes. What if I wanted to watch TV at home? All your favorite networks all the time. It's TV everywhere from TSC. It's easy as one, two, three, call TSC. Owen Kitchen and Bath Showroom has been family owned and operated since 1990. We can help you from start to finish with your entire project. Let one of our professional designers put the final touches on your project. Owen Kitchen and Bath now has two showrooms to better serve you in Wapakoneta and Lima. Owen Kitchen and Bath, cabinetry that will take your breath away at prices that won't. And we start the fourth quarter with a second down and four for the Redskins. It's a hand off the Mets. He takes it to the right side. He's going to be driven uh, down just over the 40. See where they mark it officially. It's going to be close. Nope, they are going to signal first down. They're going to move the chains. So it'll be first down and 10, and they've spotted the ball at the 41. Redskins not putting a ton of points on the board this week, but their defense has been doing an outstanding job shutting out the Bulldogs. Morgan runs it to the left, slightly to the left, up the middle, big gain right up the middle. Nice job that time by the line, creating the holes. Big hole that time for Cody Morgan to take it right up the gut, so to speak, for another Redskins first down. The Redskins can put some more points on the board. It will definitely uh, put the pressure on the Bulldogs here as we are underway here in the fourth quarter. Morgan getting his play. Another good look at the Wapakoneta offensive line. It's doing a great job tonight, opening up those holes as I was mentioning. And here's another run. It looks like Cockerell this time will take it just to the right for a few more yards. So it'll be bring up second down. So second down and five for the Redskins. Looking to go 3-0 on the young season. And, oh, and the lights have gone out on the home side. The ball was snapped, but the officials blew the play dead. We will see what's going to take place here. Looks like they're going to send the teams to the sideline. If it's anything like gym lights, it's probably going to take a while for these lights to come back on. As you see a shot of the lights there, definitely out on the home side. All three light towers are out. So as they try to get things in order here and get those lights restarted, we will take a break as well. 10-10 left in the game. Walk, walk up, 10-0. Sure, you don't need a set-top box to watch cable, but without one, you're not getting everything your TV has to offer. Add a set-top box from TSC to your television and get more channels. Get a channel guide that tells you all about the shows. Run multiple devices through one universal remote, and you can even add DVR and HD channels. Get everything your TV has to offer with a set-top box. Call TSC and ask for your set-top box today. It's easy as one, two, three, call TSC. For over 100 years, the Stolle Insurance Team has been looking out for you. 
We have access to major insurance companies all over the country. But together, we can customize an insurance program that will offer you the best coverage for the best premium. Let us look out for you. Give us a call for a personalized proposal today. Proudly featuring Motorist Insurance, Stolle Insurance in Lima, Walpaw, Salina, and Lakeview. Representing Motorist Insurance Group and other fine insurance companies. Stolle Insurance. Well, welcome back to Elida. Walpaw Cup 10-0. They have managed to get two of the three light towers on, as you can see in our shot right there. So they're going to start play. And here's a uh, run to the right side by Morgan. And he'll pick up the first down. So with two of the three light towers on, the officials and coaches have conferred and said, let's play. So uh, we're back underway here. So first down and 10 at the Elida 29. Morgan will come up under center. He has Cameron Locke and Cockerell in the backfield. And it's going to be Locke. He runs to the right side. He's going to get stopped for a short gain. Looks like about two. Locke continues to run. Two guys in the backfield behind Cody Morgan. This time it's going to be a handoff the other way to Henderson, and he's going to barrel forward, and I believe he's going to be close to the first down. Definitely first down, so first down and 10 for the Redskins. No, they're going to mark him just short. It looked like from my angle that he had the first down, so it'll bring up third down and one. Takes a snap, hands it off to Cockerell to the left side. And he should have the first down. I believe they're going to, yep, they send the chains forward. First down for the Redskins. So the Redskins knocking on the door once again here in the fourth quarter. Coming up on eight minutes left in the ball game. And off this time is the far side to lock. He's going to get uh, brought down pretty quickly. So that'll bring up second down. So we'll see here on second down if the Redskins offensive line can get, get a push to get some momentum here to uh, get this ball into the end zone. You know, the offensive line has been doing a great job the entire game uh, when, when they needed it. So, you know, a score here coming up on seven minutes to go would be uh, a huge, huge score for the Redskins to hopefully put this game out of reach. Morgan scrambles to his right. Now he's going to tuck it and run. And he's going to get hit just before the 10. Probably get marked around the 12, maybe the 11, depending on his forward progress. So they put it at the 11. So that'll bring up a, a big third down. Now, if the Redskins cannot convert and go for the field goal, it would still stay a, a two-score game for the Bulldogs. would keep them in the game. That's why... You know, getting a, a touchdown here on this possession would be huge to make it a three-score game. And with the time remaining, it would make it really difficult for Elida to come back. So here we go, third down and eight, officially. Morgan looking to throw. Throws it to the right side, and it's going to be 
Looks like they're going to say it was a catch. It is a catch, I believe. Sorry, I lost the camera feed there for a second. We'll get that angle fixed here momentarily. And it looks like they're going to call that just short of the first down. So the Redskins going to go for it here. They're going to hand off the ball. It's going to be a run right up the middle. And that will get them the first down. I believe that was Cockerell on the run that time. And it, yes, that is correct. That was number five, Jared Cockerell. Yeah, apologize for a little bit of the technical difficulties here with our cameras. We'll get that fixed here in a second. Well, it's, I was wrong. It's close enough that they're gonna they're gonna measure for it, and it is a first down. So, first and goal now for the Redskins. Big big pickup on fourth down. Cannot understate that. If they can punch this in now, if effectively would would ice the game here. Still a lot of time left. Anything can happen, and sometimes in football, crazy stuff do does happen, but. You know, I would have to believe coming up on uh, five and a half minutes to go in the game if the Redskins can push us to a 17-0 lead with the extra point, of course, that uh, this would effectively be uh, be over. So here's a run now to the right side. That's going to be Locke, and he's going to run over a defender, barrel into the end zone, and touchdown, Redskins. So Wapakoneta takes the 16-0 lead. Here is a very important very important extra point in terms of making this a three-score game. Cameron Locke with the touchdown run for the Redskins. As we start to see some of the Elida fans start to trickle out of the stands. Number 34, Tristan Meyer with the extra point. It is up. And it is good. 17 to 0. Wampaconetta on top. TSC can save you money. How? TSC can save you money with the Emerge. What's the Emerge? The Emerge bundle plan. TSC will merge your phone, cable TV, and internet in one nice neat package to save you money. How much money? A boatload. The Emerge bundle plan only from TSC. We are state of the art. We are professional. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a great day. We are service you can trust. We are here for you. With custom fabrication, a variety of roofing options, and exceptional roofing knowledge and expertise, Frost Roofing is committed to providing top-notch quality service on every project. To learn more, visit us online at frost-roofing.com and follow us on social media. So the Redskins take the 17-0 lead as Meyer kicks off here late in the ball game. Another great game by Cameron Locke here tonight as the return's going to go to the right side and be bottled up pretty quickly. Cameron Locke with an with a interception as well as the touchdown score that you just saw. So Redskins in control now, 17-0. It would take a lot of crazy, crazy things for Elida to get back in this game, trailing by three scores. Alexander looks to throw, and he's going to be uh, unable to connect with his receiver on the play. I 
believe that was Clark Edsler he was trying to hit. While we have a quick moment, let's talk about the games that we will be airing next week. Our feature game will be Bath at Wapakoneta, first home game of the year for the Redskins. That will be our feature game, and our bonus game will be the St. Mary's Rough Riders back right here to face off against these same Elida Bulldogs. Quarterback will keep it this time. Take it to his right. We'll bring up third down as we hit the five-minute mark left in the ball game. 17-0 is our score. As Ken was mentioning earlier in the broadcast before we lost his audio, these Elida Bulldogs have been putting up some points in the, in, in the young season through the first two games. So for the Redskins defense to be shutting them out is uh, obviously a good accomplishment. We'll see if they can, can shut the door here down the stretch and uh, maintain the shutout as that completion will move the chains. Uh, now they're gonna signal for them to hold for a second. getting together to sort this one out. Still only two light towers working on the home side. As the call is going to be personal foul against the Redskins, so that will definitely move the chains forward 15 additional yards. So first down and 10, Elida marching into Redskins territory. Alexander throwing to the right side, it's gonna be picked off. Interception, and it looks like Adam Henderson was the Redskin defender stepping in front of the pass for the INT. So 4.08 remaining in the ball game. The Redskins will take over. Up 17 to 0. I'm sure those that are offensive minded would surely have liked to put some more points on the board tonight, but if this is how it ends, 17 to zero, as a Redskins fan, you have to be really happy with the uh, with the outcome. Some great play tonight by the offensive line for the Redskins. The defense very stout when it needed to be, and uh, obviously pitching a shutout here at this point. And we're gonna have a whistle and I believe it was a false start. We'll wait and see if we get the call here. And that is the call, false start. All in the reds, can still march it back five yards and try again. But as I was saying, overall, a great performance here tonight by the Redskins on both sides of the ball. Everybody really doing their part. As if this score will hold Wapak will move to 3-0 overall, 2-0 in the Western Buckeye League. to the left side is Metz. He's going to find a hole. Pick up quite a bit of yards on that first and 15. With the loss here tonight, Elida would go to one and two overall. And one and one in the Western Buckeye League. With the lights having gone out tonight and causing a little bit of a delay, we have been able to get most of the results from around the Western Buckeye League tonight. So we can tell you that 
Ottawa Glandorf has also moved to 3 and 0 on the season and 2 and 0 in the Western Buckeye League. They're able to knock off Salina 25 to 7. Bath also a winner tonight, 42 to 33. We'll have Bath in the feature game next week as they travel to Wapak. Kenton also winning tonight, 26 to 7 over St. Mary's. That was our feature game tonight. You can also catch that broadcast being replayed on GFO all week. And the other game in the Western Buckeye League, Van Wert 23, Shawnee 7. Run to the right side. Goes by Keaton Metz. And they're going to move the chains. So the first down and 10. Walpock doing a good job trying to run the clock out here in this fourth quarter. So your updated standings now in the Western Buckeye League. Walpock and OG both 3 0. Overall 2 0 in the league. Salina is the lone team at 2 1 overall but one and one in the league. And then we have a slew of teams at one and two overall and one and one in the league. Those include uh, Eli Elida, Shawnee, Bath, Kenton, and Van Wert. So a timeout here on the field. We'll recap those standings for you when we get back from the break. Okay, we're back, 2.07 left in the game. Walpock tried to run the clock out here in the fourth quarter, up 17 to zero. First down as Huffman is now in the ball game, if you didn't notice, number two, Aaron Huffman, junior quarterback. Quickly to recap, what I was trying to get across was the WBL standings. Two teams are three and zero, Walpock and OG. Salina is at two and one overall. Elida, Shawnee, Bath, Kenton, Van Wert, St. Mary's. They're all grouped together at one and two overall. And Defiance is the only team that is winless. They are 0-3. And, and uh, you know, from the league standpoint, Walpock and OG are 2-0. And, oh. and then you have Salina, Elida, Shawnee, Bath, Kenton, and Van Wert all one and one. And that leaves St. Mary's and Defiance 0-2 in WBL play. Coming up on a minute to go here in your ball game, 17-0. Wapakoneta in control, just trying to run this clock out. It's third down and four, and if they can pick up this first down, the ball game will be over. They may have to run one additional play, but a third down conversion here would effectively beat the ball game. Huffman up under center, hand it off. And the run up the middle is going to pick up the first down. We'll see if we can get the number of the ball carrier there. Wasn't able to see who that was. First down and 10. Coming up on 30 seconds left in the ball game. Wapakoneta going to win this one 17 to 0. I would expect they're going to take a knee, and yep, they're going to go right into the victory formation. Huffman will take the knee on the final snap of the ball game. There it is. And the Redskins will start to celebrate this as the clock ticks down. The Wapakoneta Redskins move to 3-0 as they defeat the Elida Bulldogs 17-0. We'll see all of you next week at our feature game. I'm a bad at Wampa Canetta. I'm Todd Neutrum from Ken Garland. Thanks for watching tonight. You've been watching TSC Touchdown Friday.